ฝนกมลพันธุ์ลิ้วกระเสิร์ Today I'm going to share about what I've learned from joining women in tech communities. A bit of my background: Clearly, I'm a machine learning engineer at c e r t i s and a part-time online master in computer science student at Georgia Tech. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. About my journey in women in tech communities. In 2019, I have a good opportunity to join Grasshopper Celebration in the U.S. It is the world's largest women in tech event. I met great people there and got new friends. It is very good experience. In last year, I also joined the Facebook Tech by Her event on International Women Day in Bangkok. It is nice to meet people locally and be inspired and get new friends. Some of the comedies and events that I've joined are Grasshopper Celebration by Anita B, Winhack Women in Tech l a n c h i o n by Microsoft, Developer Circle from Facebook hosted by Pi Ladies Bangkok, and some other are online communities, events, or newsletter such as Women Tech Makers, Women in Machine Learning, and International Women Day. I found that lots of organization and companies talks about diversity, equality. And equity, not only for genders but also races and ethnics. For instance, there is a campaign of 50/50 equity by 2025. Some company have achieved or try to achieve 50/50 ratio as well. This is a major step forward towards diversity in workplace. Now we heard about equality and equity. What's the difference? As you can see from the picture, equality means everyone got the same thing. In this example, everyone has a box to stand on. But you can see that everyone with different heights get different results. In this case, equity allows people to get access to the same opportunity. The boxes will provide to people who need it. Then everyone can enjoy the show with the same experience. This can be applied to the case of inclusivity as well. In this scenario, a box doesn't work with a wheelchair. Inclusivity means we provide a way that can include more people to join. In this case, a ramp is needed for a wheelchair to ride on. It's also a good practice of universal design to be equal in terms of opportunity. And we can think about how to remove the system barriers that block people at first place, so we can get the equality by design. Therefore. What we can learn from this example is to realize about diversity that people may have different circumstances, which leads to different opportunities. We need to embrace diversities, and diversity will help us to have wider perspective, and will be beneficial in long term. Why diversity matters? If I put it in the opposite way, what will happen if we have no diversity at all? One of the answer is there will be biases. Biases are nature to human brain. It is hard to deny when we think that we have bias at some point. And with a group of people with same thought, same mindset, and same culture, confirmation bias can happen more easily. There are many other types of cognitive biases, and gender bias is one of them. In one case study about the gender bias, is about thermostat. Thermostats or even smart thermostats are to ensure that the temperature is comfortable for people in the room. Research suggests that women suffer from gender bias at home, and even in their office, because biologically, the comfortable temperature for women is higher than men by a few degrees. This makes most of the women always feel cold while sitting in the same room with men who are at ease. So this problem. Having gender diversity involved in product development will help address the bias. My first key takeaway is to embracing diversities, then properly addressing biases and be inclusive. Trust the research; it will be good in long run. And who said that women are worse at tech than men? Actually, women can do great. They are just underrepresented. I will go to a few examples of women in computing history. It started from the first computer programmer was woman. Ada Lovelace did amazing job during her time to be recognized later as the first woman programmer. Next, it is when the first bug was discovered. Grace Hopper is one of the team who worked on Mark One computer, and found a bug that was the root cause of error in 1947. She also wrote on the incident report that is now kept in the museum. 
So it is women who help defining the word bug and debug. In the age of AI, there are some women who work behind the great things. One of them is Foy Foy Lee, who is a person behind a major step forward in AI and computer vision researches, such as ImageNet and Convolutional Neural Network. She also teaches popular courses on online MOOC and is a co-founder of Stanford's Human Center AI and AI for All. That says you can do the great thing as well. There is no boundary or limit of capability based on genders. I believe that everyone can do great things if they try hard enough. So my second key takeaway is to overcoming stereotypes. Don't let anybody tell you what you are capable of, and believe in yourself. If you think you can do it, you can do it. Lastly, it's our nature that women always support each other. Let's create a safe environment for women. Whether it is a workplace environment or communities, together we can connect to other people. We can always talk and discuss the problems. Be inspired and influence people. Help each other to overcome their problems, challenges, or goals. Build a better community, which means a better working life, and grow together. I will end with a quote from Grace Hopper. If one person asks, "Do you think we can do this?" she would answer, "Try it and support them." So join in communities and remember that women always support each other. To recap, first. Embracing diversity, properly addressing biases, and be inclusive. Second, overcoming stereotypes. Don't let anybody tell you what you are capable of. Finally, joining communities and support other women. Shoot to challenge. Feel free to leave a feedback in QR code or link on the right hand side. Thank you very much and have a good day.